I'm BJ Foster, and you're watching Texas Platinum. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Texas Platinum. We got another special video for you guys in store today. We are joined by Steven and Tran of Fanatic Perspective. And much like we did um, just a matter of a few months ago, we're doing another fantasy draft this time around for the Big 12 Conference and what very, what very well, kind of hopefully might be the last year of the Big 12. We're going to be drafting a total of six players for each of our teams and doing a fantasy draft for the upcoming season based on statistics and what we're projecting out of the different teams and players and such. But before we hop into it, I uh, want to give Stephen and Tran a quick shout out. Guys, how are y'all doing today? Doing well, Trevor. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it's a uh, counting down the days till kickoff, you know, enjoy, enjoying NFL preseason football. Uh, Sam Ellinger balled out today, so I'm uh, really excited about the season. Awesome stuff. Uh, Myers of Madrid, give you guys an opportunity to talk too. How are y'all doing? I'm doing great. I'm just really excited. I mean, I think this will be a good one. We did this last year or two years ago, you know, rounding out the Big 12, a lot of talent in the Big 12, and I think this will be a good chance to kind of, you know, uh, it'll be informative to the viewers, but it'll also be fun for us. So I think it'll like knock out two birds with one stone. Yeah, doing great, too. Hope I get the uh, number one pick again. That'd be great. Paid off the guys at the website. The software is built in for me. Let's see if that happens again. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, just like Chance said, also, I was watching preseason football, just trying to get any uh, any uh, juice from it as I can, even though it's like third and fourth stringers. But it's 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 I'm happy to hey, see man. it on, on my TV. It's still scratching that itch, though. It's yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. So it's something. Yeah. We got a lot of Texas boys that, that got to showcase themselves this past weekend just from our recent team. So very exciting times. Absolutely. The season is almost upon us. So, all right. Um, so before we get into it, though, just got to announce, as always, please subscribe, like, and comment uh, to both of our channels, uh, Fanatic Perspective. Their link is down below and kind of everywhere on the video. So you should be able to find them pretty easily. And then, of course, to us, Texas Platinum. Uh, really help us grow during this time, especially with the season about to start. I know that both of us are going to be providing a lot of good content for you guys to check out, uh, especially as we enter into the season here. And um, I believe that's it on announcements. So we'll go ahead and get started with our draft selection. So we're going to do this much like last time and probably, you know what, I'll put a pop up right here in the corner. Uh, but if you are a Texas fan, um, if you're not a Texas fan, welcome. But if you are a Texas fan, you definitely need to check out our previous uh, fantasy draft video that we did a few months back. A uh, lot of fun drafting some of we drafted together teams of some of the greatest Texas Longhorn football players there are in our history. Um, really good blast of a video. But again, if you're not a Texas fan, welcome. Uh, we're going to keep this <laughs> hopefully pretty informative, impartial, and really looking at the Big 12 holistically, and we're not just going to be drafting Texas players. But um, yeah, so with that said, let me go ahead and share my screen here. And we... One second. Sharing of the screen has begun. So we are doing our typical name selection process to determine a draft order here. So any takers on who's going to be the first pick? We don't know. Uh, me. I don't know. Wherever I'm picking, we went in the draft again over here. <laughs> oh, Myers. Oh. <laughs> Man, that's a lot of pressure now. I, I, I was hoping I didn't get it because I'm, I'm split on two players. So. You were pretty far <laughs> back last time. Yeah, I'm curious how different this is going to be. Come on now. Uh oh. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. We're at number two. Who we got at number three? Looks like me again. <laughs> Wow. 
I own that middle spot. I think we may have rigged it for Texas Platinum on this one. <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Who gets Still the trying. double pick? Ah, oh, all right. Man, well. Okay. So Trans got the double pick at the end. Definitely a different order. So, yeah. And then as you can see right in front of us, we got QB, running back, wide receiver, flex. Flex, of course, can be any skill position on the offensive side of the ball, outside of quarterback, that is. So running back, wide receiver, tight end. Um, and then two defensive players. So anyone from the defense could be linebackers, could be defensive ends, could be safeties, cornerbacks, you name it. Pick whatever player you want and however many of each position you want. So we will begin then with Matt Myers. So actually, real quick, I got to make it official here. With the first pick <laughs> in the 2021 Big 12 Fantasy Draft, Matt Myers, who are you taking to lead this off? I have to do it. I'll be taking Spencer Rattler with the first pick. Damn. Damn. That's like the only, like, it gets so scarce at quarterback. God. I know. I was going to do, I, I didn't think that anyone was going to pick him first, uh, and that was my plan. But that's yeah. a great pick. That, that's precisely why. I mean, this year, the Big 12 is usually loaded at quarterback, and I think there are some good options. I mean, Casey and Hudson, for example, are, one of them will be a star, I feel like. We don't know who it's going to be. Yeah, it's like a toss-up at that point. And then Brock Purdy, I don't know if he's going to put up a lot of numbers. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, this year, it, this is definitely Spencer Rattler's league in terms of quarterback. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go with a safe pick, take Spencer Rattler here. But, uh, yeah, that's it. All right, Matt Myers, you're next up. Who are you taking? It's me, right? Yeah, yeah. You're next. <laughs> you're number okay. two. All right, all right, all right. So, so you took the clear cut QB one that you, you like. He doesn't even have to worry about that position at all. But because the rest, the rest are kind of reaches. So I think I'm gonna go running back here, and it comes down to two two players, and one is established. One one is established, and we know is gonna be dominant, and then one. We hope is going to be dom dominant, we, but we don't know if he's so uh, established yet. But uh, look, give me the workload, give me the offense catered Ooh. toward that workload, and give me uh, give me Brees Hall. Okay, give me Brees Hall. Interesting I want, pick. I want, I want all the all the carries. I want the whole offense. Yeah, that, that move right there shows that we are unbiased here. So any yeah. fan bases out there that are like, how dare they? We just drafted the Oklahoma quarterback <laughs> and the Iowa, Iowa State running State back <laughs> with the first two picks. Um, but with that said, with the number three pick for myself, I got to take our man, B. John Robinson. We're really That's hoping fair. for That's a breakout, a breakout year for this young man. Uh, has really been dominating all of the camps. Um Probably a Heisman contender. Hopefully a Heisman contender. We'll have to see. Um, but everything's looking good so far in camp. Uh, probably going to be a captain of the team, I'd assume. That seems to be a clear leader. And uh, really no reason. Uh, Sark offense. So he'll be getting a bunch of different looks as well. Uh, hopefully be catching the ball, moving him around, doing a lot of creative stuff. Uh, exciting year ahead for Bijan. So I think he's a clear number one draft pick, regardless of who, it, who was going to take him. But I took him. So. So next up, we got Steven. So I'm going to take a player who is actually coming back to college football. that A lot of people have forgotten about. I'm going to take Kennedy Brooks. From oh, Ohio, yes. Who is a not one, but two time thousand yard rusher. And has an obscenely high yards per carry average, plays in a fantastic offense, very, very fantasy friendly player. Uh, he will split time, split time obviously with Eric Gray and, and the backs they have there. But Kennedy Brooks, probably the most proven player, even with Spencer Rattler there on the OU offense. So I feel really good about uh, in this particular context taking Kennedy Brooks in round one. Very nice. 
I was thinking of having him as a flex. I didn't think he'd get drafted this high, but that's a good pick, Steven. Tran, you got back-to-back picks since we're doing this snake style. Um, who do you have with your first-round pick? Uh, I'm going to pick, uh, for the first-round pick, I'm going to pick uh, Spencer Sanders. I think he's going to... I mean, he's going to be an upperclassman, and he, this is his this is his year to actually step forward and do something. I mean, he's doing it without um, uh, who's their big time wide receiver? He's oh, Tyler one. Wallace. Yeah, Tyler Wallace. So, uh, and he kind of he kind of started it kind of started clicking with him towards the end of the year, where he can when to use his athleticism and when to uh, when to uh, be a pinpoint passer, pocket passer. So that's what I'm going with. Nice, definitely a roll of the dice. I was expecting defense out of you. Yep. No, I got, I got, I got defense. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, who do you have? Zachary Evans. Oh, good. TCU. Wow. Good. Um, I think, I think we we saw a little bit of him, and you know, he is that five star. He is that five star player, and he is just explosive. Um, I think that offense is going to be completely underrated mm-hmm. with uh, with um, with uh, the. I'm not going to say the quarterback. The quarterback's not that great, but he, you know he's going to take a a uh, a bunch of the load off of him and make make his job a little bit easier. Very nice, Stephen. We're back with you again. Who do you have for your second round pick? So safe pick, but with the quarterbacks being the way they are, I got to take Brock Purdy here. Uh, Smart. The, the veteran statesman of the conference at this point, coming off a Fiesta Bowl win, gets essentially all of his weapons back. He has Brees Hall. He has Xavier Hutchinson. He has Charlie Kohler. He's got a fantastic offensive line playing in Matt Campbell's system. All the expectations are on them, and his NFL hopes are on the line this year. A lot of people were talking NFL last year for him. Decides to come back to school for a reason, hopefully clean up those turnovers and playing up to the expectations that are now on the table for Iowa State. I do expect a big year from Brock Purdy, he should feel slighted with Spencer Rattler taking first team quarterback honors from him in the Big 12 when he was, you know, finished ahead of him at the end of last season. So I'm going to go Brock Purdy. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. Who do I have? So I was thinking about quarterback. I was thinking Brock Purdy, not going to lie, but you just took him. So. I'm going to go with another skill player, and this is actually going to be a flex, and this is going to be a hell of a backfield. Um, I'm taking Deuce Vaughn out of Kansas State. Uh, Deuce obviously came on the scene uh, last season. Uh, didn't didn't blow you away with yards quite like Brees Hall or anything like that. He just had just shy of 650, actually. Um, but seven touchdowns. Uh, dude is the clear star of the Kansas State offense. Um, I expect him to get a lot of looks, very shifty back, um, should be a very exciting player to watch. And uh, I think he's a pretty solid fantasy pick. Um, I really expect him to get a lot of production this coming year and uh, really just excited to see him play. He's he's definitely a flash in the pan kind of guy, uh, short little guy, but um, definitely mighty and has a lot of speed and really nifty runners. So I'm taking Deuce Vaughn. He's going to put up big time stats. So that's yeah. a great pick. Yeah. That's a great, great pick because there's not a whole bunch of people on that offense that are going to take up touches from Deuce. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So Bijan and Deuce, that's a that's a killer backfield there. Yeah, that's really nice. All right. So got you next, Madrid. Okay. So, man. So quarterback. Yeah. You just don't even I, – I, I, pun- I basically punted on that already. So, give me just another <laughs> – give me another running back in Sir Roderick Thompson. Um, okay. That guy, that guy was, was feasting last year before he got hurt. And I hope he doesn't get hurt again. And it's a, it's a little bit of a question mark on uh, just their offense at, at, at large. But I think he'll be a main focal point still. And when they get in close and everything, they'll still use him. So, yeah, give me Sir Roderick. Very nice. Thank you. Myers, you got back-to-back picks? Ooh, back-to-back. Okay, sweet. All right, well, I don't think anybody's taken a receiver yet. Uh, not that I'm aware of. I guess Deuce Vaughn can kind of play receiver, but anyways. 
Uh, I'll take the best receiver on the board, and that's Marvin Mims. So yeah. I'll have Marvin Mims and Spencer Rattler. That'll be like double fantasy <laughs> points whenever they throw touchdowns. A six stack right there. Yeah. So, and, and Marvin Mims just as a player is super electric. I hate that Texas didn't go after him. Um, he was a guy that I think Texas could have pulled if we evaluated him properly and went after him, but we didn't. And look at him. He was a star as a freshman for OU, and he's going to be their, their top guy this year on the outside for sure. So, yeah, I'll take Marvin Mims. Oh, and I'm up again, right? Okay. That is correct. All right. I'm going to take a running back here because I feel like running backs had a quite a big drop off coming up here in a second. So I'm going kind of off the radar here, but I want to take LD Brown from Oklahoma state. Mm. He was, I thought he was better than Chuba last year. Uh, he split a lot of carries with Chuba and uh, it was pretty obvious last year that Oklahoma state's offensive line was really bad. And that's kind of why Chuba lost so much draft stock and went where he did in the draft last year, this past year. But LD Brown's a very explosive explosive player he averaged over five yards a carry last year and this year he's like the, the sole guy in the backfield so i think uh with spencer sander he's, he's going to rely a lot on ld brown so i'll take ld brown very good yes sir all right madrid it's back to you who do you hey, got uh we're gonna go with uh we're gonna go with uh i don't know how to say his name his last name but uh eric Eric Izukama. 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 There you go. Yes, I had high hopes for him last year. Um, I had him on my fantasy team. He didn't really do what I thought he was going to do. But this year, it's just him. No TJ Vasher. Um, they're bringing in the transfer quarterback. We can sling it from Oregon. I think uh, I have high hopes still for the Texas Tech offense to, uh, to do the thing. So, yeah, give me Eric. Very nice. Very nice. Damn you, Madrid. Damn you. That's right. <laughs> that was my favorite receiver left on the yeah. board in terms of like guaranteed production for, for, for me, for a lot yeah. of reasons. Agreed. Agreed. Hmm. So I'm up next here. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah. Looking for guaranteed production as well. Uh, I do need a receiver. I could go defense, but I'm going to wait. Uh, I'm going to go Quentin Johnston, TCU. That dude is a stud. Should have went to UT. We had him and lost him in our grips, um, and uh, I expect him to be a big part of TCU's offense this coming fall. Um, crazy stat. He averaged over 22 yards per catch <laughs> last season, so he's an explosion waiting to happen. Um, uh, didn't put up a ton of receiving yards, but also their quarterback situation wasn't quite as solidified as it is now uh, with uh, Duggan taking the realm uh, in a permanent way. Um, so I expect him, and, and, and as I believe Tran hinted at it as well, I really expect TCU to have a very good offense in general. Uh, yeah, he was my next season, pick. So. <laughs> yeah, he was my next pick on the board. So, yeah, so I'm going with Quentin. So Steven, it, I, uh, I, I, I like the – I like Quentin Johnson, the player – the thing is, you guys picking TCU players got to trust Max Duggan at some point. Or else Max Duggan. <laughs> it's, 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 it's in his hands to get it to them. Yeah. It's in his hands. Because, like, with, with Eric at Texas Tech, at least Tyler Shuck, Tyler Shuck, like, is supposed to be a first-round pick at quarterback, apparently, right? So, at least I know I – have, I have a lot of confidence in the Texas Tech offense. With TCU, I think that's a huge – He's an enormous talent. I agree. Mm -hmm. I just I'm skeptical of Max Duggan. That's a fair point. As for my pick, I'm going to go defense. I'm going to go the best pass rusher in the conference, uh, Nick Benito. Mm, good who, one. Uh, you know Christian Jones and and those of us here at Texas, all on on watch. <laughs> Somebody who was very very productive, and you know with Isaiah Thomas being suspended for I don't know how many games he's suspended for. But you have Perry on Winfrey in the middle. Nick Benito is going to still have an opportunity to, to just get a lot of one on one still like he got last year and, and eat. And I think he set up perfectly in Alex Grinch's defense to have another monster year. And, and for him, hopefully get drafted higher than Ronnie Perkins went uh, to New England Patriots. So I'm going to go the uh, best pass rusher in the conference, in my opinion, Nick, Nick Benito. It's a good pick. 
All right, Tranny got back to back picks. All right. So I think the wide receiver class is kind of getting thin now. Um, so I got to go that route. Um, I am actually, I'll go for the second pick off that so I can, uh, so I can think a little bit about it, but, um, ne- next pick that I'm going to go is I'm going to go defense as well. And I'm going to go, uh, Mike Rose. Good one. He, uh, he, I think he was the big 12 player, uh, defensive player of the year. Mm-hmm. Uh, first team, all big 12. And he also, um, and he also had 11 sacks in nine games, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Uh, no, that was McDonald. Roselet had all the oh, tackles. Oh, right, right. McDonald Rose yeah. had all the tackles. McDonald was the one that had all the, the sacks. Both Iowa State, Iowa State's defense. I, I think he still had 11 sacks or something like that, 10 and a half or 11 sacks. Mike, uh, Rose? Mike Rose? No, he was he had like two. linebacker. Yeah, he was he got more interceptions, but his tackles were crazy. Oh, tackle for loss. He had tackle for tackles, loss. Yeah, yeah. Tackles yeah. were crazy, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm okay. So uh, that's what that's what I'm going with. That's, that's still. a good pick. I mean, you're picking mm-hmm. the defensive player of the year, so yeah. And then who you got next? Who's your receiver you want? No Texas receivers yet. That's that's who I'm going. I I'm I have it up between Xavier Worthy and um Hutchinson is also still up on the board. Yeah. He had a pretty good season last year. Kolar. Yeah, Kolar still on the board. Um let me go let me go with my uh, flex. I'll go with Jordan Whittington. Oh, okay. Uh, he, they've been talking a lot about him in practice, and I think he's going to be the little safety blanket for whoever the quarterback is. Uh, he, if this is a point for a reception league, I think I think he's going to do well. The only thing we, we'd be running into is him just staying healthy. Nice pick, Stephen. Who you got? Yeah. Well, if I'm going to double, if I'm if I'm going Purdy, I got to double down on Hutchinson at receiver. Uh, so I'm gonna go Xavier Hutchinson from Iowa State, who is uh, he didn't play very well against Texas, in my opinion. I think he only really had like one big catch, but he gave a lot of people in the Big 12 issues first year at Iowa State last year. So I expect him to actually ramp up in 2021 and give them that outside presence. Great kind of pairing with Charlie Kohler, Brees Hall in the backfield, taking off a lot. And then my trigger man, Brock Purdy. So I'm going to go Xavier Hutchinson as my receiver. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. It's time for me to start going defense as well. This is kind of tough because I got a few players that I really like. And uh, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to speak it into existence that I expect this player in particular to have a big year. They're talking about him a lot as of late in fall camp. Um, I'm going with Agent Zero, DeMarvion Overshone out of Texas as my first defensive player. Uh, really kind of came into his own at the beginning of last – well, not beginning of last season, but halfway through, per se, of last season. Um, really kind of does it all in terms of tackles. Um, he only had one sack last season, that big one, uh, against West Virginia. But – um I expect him to get a little bit more sacks as well. And he had two interceptions, which were pretty big. So kind of a, you know, jack of all trades type player uh, inside linebacker, but I expect him to kind of shift around and do a whole bunch of things. Uh, Seems to be the clear leader of our defense. Um, Big year for him as he tries to take that, you know, final step before he goes into the NFL. And um, coupled with the new defensive scheme that we're going to be in with Coach K, I really expect him to be doing a fair amount of work and really, taking on a lot of production. So uh, only hope, only thing that makes me hesitant is the injury, but he sounds like he's doing pretty well in fall camp. So I'm going to take it at that word and uh, go with Overshone to start off my defense. Madrid, you are up. You're on mute. That's my bad. Uh, I feel I feel weird picking this one. 
uh, just because it, historically it doesn't make sense. But I really like Perion Winfrey from from OU. Um, I think he had a, a great season last year, and he's making a lot of noise with the NFL scouts. So I think he's moving his way up there. He's got a great stats, maybe a little undersized, but physically he's he's, he's really gifted, and uh, he's really a, a great interior lineman that is like – is like a big reason why OU has like steadily steadily gotten better uh, at at defense. So let, give me like someone very very reliable in, in that sense with Perion Winfrey, a D lineman. Myers, it's you now. Yeah, that was a, that was a good pick, Madrid. Perion Winfrey is is a scary human being. Uh, okay, so for me, on this, I have back to back. Correct. That is correct. All right, I'm going to shift defense here, and I'm going to go out to ACC country. I'm going to go to the Mountaineers and go get Dante Stills. Uh, this is a guy that mm. I I think he could have gone pro last year. He should have gone pro, but for whatever reason, I guess he's loyal to the soil. I think he's born and raised in West Virginia. He stayed, and uh, I think he's going to be one of the best defensive players in the country, defensive lineman, and – uh, yeah, I just remember him being a star in high school. Like he's almost a five star, and he ended up at West Virginia. So he's always produced, and uh, I feel like that's a safe pick right here. So I'll take Dante Stills to build my defense around. And for the next pick, I'm gonna stick on stick with defense, just finish it off. And uh, I'm taking Stevens' boy. I know he likes this guy a lot. I bet he was planning to get him with his next pick. I'm gonna take Terrell Bernard from Baylor. Mm. Um, He's just a great player. I, that was a great eval by Herman and Todd Orlando back in the day. Who gave picked. him the board? <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked he hasn't been picked yet. I was gonna, I was gonna take him. If I he, was chilling. If he came back. I was chilling on Terrell Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> You've been hyping him up too much, man. I couldn't ignore it. So, oh man, great pick, man. <laughs> yeah, man, he's. He's a baller, man. I remember last year when we played at Baylor, he was everywhere. And um, he got hurt at the end of the year, but it was just a shoulder. I think he'll be good to go this year. So, yeah, Terrell Bernard. Nicely done. I like that. I like that. Madrid is back to you. Okay. So, I feel like I I definitely need at least one Texas player just just to keep the homers (laughs) happy. Um, But uh, I really like Deshaun Jameson coming into this – this year for everything I've read and everything, his, his attitude, his presence is really good. Um, he's on a bunch of watch lists and I think every year, um, I think every year for the, his whole career here at Texas, he's gotten better. That's one of the players in our secondary that I think has progressively gotten better and his skills as a punt returner are obviously what they are and amazing. So yeah, let me, let me have someone that could have a, a breakout year and get a lot more in, attention from, uh, from the NFL and be like maybe the the face of our of our uh, secondary. So yeah, did Deshaun Jameson. Nice. Hopefully you get some punt return and touchdown. I mean, yeah. kickoff returns for touchdowns and stuff. That would really help out. Um, I'm gonna round out my defense and save my quarterback for my last pick. Since, like you said, we we don't have a lot of uh, super experienced guys coming back at this point. Um. So I'm going with the guy that we mentioned earlier that had a ridiculous amount of over 10 sacks last season. We're going with Will McDonald out of Iowa State, a uh, stud of a stud of a player, uh, really stood out in, in the term of the tag, uh, sacks. Um, not a not a ton of tackles, but that's also just kind of indicative of the position that he plays. Uh, two forced fumbles. Experienced guy. Um, honestly, kind of surprised he came back with the type of season that he had, but I guess he's coming back to be with his, you know, Iowa state teammates and they're looking to shock the world. So um, good player. Uh, be very highly of him. And uh, yeah, we'll round out my defense with Will McDonald. Nice. So Myers messed me up. Yeah, <laughs> Me too. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. So uh, with Bernard off the board, You know, we're going to have to go to plan B. We're going to to make some adjustments and go upside here. And I'm going to pick a Texas player that we have not seen play in a football game yet. And I'm just going straight upside on my flex. I'm going Troy O'Mary. Wow. Simple fact that 
I'm banking on touchdowns, him being the red zone threat, him utilizing his size. And, it's, you know, from a standpoint of what he'll be asked to do in the Steve Sarkeesian offense, if we want this thing to work, if we're asking this to be productive, I know he's been up and down in camp right now, but I think when all is said and done and he's fully healthy, he can be a potential dub, double digit touchdown guy for Texas. So I'm going to go Troy O'Mary for my flex. I have big hopes for him as well. He's, he's, he's so physically gifted. I can't wait to see him. Just to, just to add. Be, I, I was just going to say real quick, I think, I, I, if he can run the way I think he can run, because I think a lot of people are still skeptical about him running mm-hmm. just because they haven't seen it. If he can run the way I think he can run, there's Roy Williams vibes there. Hmm. Um, it's not just like Colin, and no disrespect to Colin, but like some of those guys in the conference, like, you know, Gladney and that were able to get under him that could really run. I think Troy can run away from people more so than some of the guys we've seen before that are just big. Nice. I was going to ask you what what made you you see him getting more touchdowns than like a Joshua Moore or a Xavier Worthy. Yes, uh, real strictly because of his 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 size and the ability he'll bring when we get into the red area. Gotcha. I think yep. those guys will have more you know down the field big plays, but mm-hmm. Troy O'Mary gives you something where you really can't take him off the field. You know, Worthy is is going to be competing obviously with with Jordan Whittington on the inside and. They may butt heads with snaps. Joshua Moore may butt heads, you know, with some other guys on the outside that they're still competing with. Whereas I, I think O'Mary is still going to play for the most part over Marcus Washington. I know he's giving him a good run for his money in camp, but projection wise, I think O'Mary is still going to be that guy where they they look to him even on on third and eights, you know, just to move the chain type of stuff. Nice. I oh. Just, oh my god. I was just going to say hopeful. Yeah, no, no. I, I just want to add to it, like, from like, what I saw in the spring game, I know it was a little bit limited, but his presence on the field is just, like, you know that's Troy O'Meary. Like, if you, if you, can, if you can harness that speed, uh, he's, he's, he's generational. He looks so good and, and gifted it out there. Yeah. All right, Tran, you got back-to-back picks, bud. Who are you taking? So the wide receiver is a little bit rough for me. I was I was a toss up between Theo Weiss and uh, R.J. Sneed, but I'm going to go R.J. Sneed just because he's going to be the go-to receiver for Baylor. Mm-hmm. Um, similar stats actually between the two, but you know I, I just think that like Marvin Mims is going to be that guy for them, go-to for everything, and and also you know uh, Lincoln Riley really likes to utilize the uh, the tight end a lot and also as Stephen eloquently puts it the uh, the little fat uh, fullback in the back <laughs> slip it out the full, little fat fullbacks so um, I, I'm, I'm gonna go to RJ Sneed because I, I just think that he's just gonna be the number one for uh, for Baylor and then I'm gonna round out my defense with I'm gonna stick with the big uglies I'm gonna go with Isaiah Thomas um, not net, uh, you've seen you saw him kind of explode onto the scene last year. I think he was second, second team all big 12. Uh, he had uh, eight, roughly eight sacks. But the big thing he has is when he's coming up, when he's getting pressure off the end, he gets uh, he gets past defended, so uh, passes deflected and everything like that. And I think another year in the system, he's just going to be even better, especially with a full off season and also, and also um, a full season ahead of him too. So his stats are going to shoot up, uh, up the charts. I like it. I like it. Steven, you got one more defensive player. Who are you going to take? Yeah. So I really, really, really wanted to take a Texas DB here. And there's a lot of guys. I'm, hopeful about we said the word hopeful again uh but i'm gonna go in a different direction and take two another defensive lineman so i'm gonna take oshawn mathis from tcu love it i just think he's the best player on the board at Mm -hmm. this point and deserves to be picked and was super underrated last season very versatile defenders you know those tcu guys that gary patterson is able to not just get at his program but develop uh I, I can't pass on O'Shawn Mathis right here, so I feel comfortable filling out my defense with 
you know, two elite de- defensive linemen. Nick Benito being a defensive lineman slash linebacker hybrid, but I feel really good about my team. Nice. I like it. All right. Uh, for myself, I got quarterback and it gets a little tricky here. Like I said earlier, uh, there's two guys that I'm eyeing right now. And um, you know what? I'm going to roll the dice and I'm going to take Tyler show Dude. Tyler show Bro. Shaw. Tyler Shuck. I wanted the whole Shuck? Texas take off. And what the... <laughs> I just beat you to the punch, man. You should have picked him earlier. Chuck, you said you go in. Tyler Shuck. <laughs> Are you sure? I, I I've like I've looked everywhere to like find a pronunciation <laughs> for this guy's name, and I'm getting all different things. But Tyler, H makes just C K noise. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just amazed. If it, it Shuck, <laughs> if I'm wrong about that, and, and Oregon people, if I'm wrong about it being Tyler Shuck, I, I got your first beer when I'm. <laughs> this, yeah, okay, fair this enough, is fair the, enough. this is the biggest. <laughs> This is the biggest fight or argument that we've had <laughs> over this draft. This is how to pronounce his name. Yeah. <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> Comment below if uh, if you guys know how to how to how to say it correctly. But anyway, um, put up pretty decent numbers at Oregon. I mean, sixty three point five percent completion percentage isn't bad. Um, and I believe he was splitting time, 13 touchdowns, uh, six, five guys. So he's a big dude. And, um, at the end of the day, what it really comes down to is like Texas tech is going to throw it. It's an air raid offense. Um, especially with Ezukama and a lot of the returning production that they have. Um, I expect them to get a fair amount of, uh, passing yards. So really, even though he's a bit of an unknown and kind of a wild card at the end of the day, I'm going to, I'm going to take that offensive system and, uh, Rounded out with uh, Shuck or Shaw or Show or <laughs> whatever, People whatever Tyler's last name up. is. People are gassing him up for the NFL. He has the tools. So, you know, now he, that he's he picked Texas Tech for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying so, to follow that Pat Mahomes. Get on that Pat Mahomes system. <laughs> so now that that quarterback's got, gone, Madrid, who are you taking? Look, look, I'll just. You got to take Daggy. Do right? it. No, I'm not. I don't no? want to take. No, I don't want to take Dougie. <laughs> or, 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 Daggy or Dougie? Or Daggy. Dougie. Oh. Daggy or go Duggan? One of the, the two. Of the, oh. Go ahead and pick the winner of the Texas quarterback battle. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna call my shot right now. Oh, it's uh, it's gonna be Casey. It's gonna be Casey. Wow, that's risky, Casey. man. No, it's gonna be Casey. They might split up. time. No, don't believe don't believe that hype. Not at least not <laughs> for my fantasy team. You might transfer within a week or two. <laughs> Just lose my quarterback? By the time this video comes out, he might be gone. Uh, no, give me Casey. No, do it. Do it now. Okay. Just taking my claim. Why? If he, if he hits, if he hits, if he hits, he'll be solid. So I don't even need him to be great. I need him to be solid. Okay. That's yeah. bold, but we'll go with it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I hope, he, I hope he gets to play. <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> That's what I'm plays. saying. It's I don't principle. Is that a principle? I'm not. I don't want to pick Dougie or Dave, Doug, whatever. I don't want them. <laughs> I don't want them. <laughs> oh my gosh! Hey, Tran, that goes back to the comment we had when we were looking for an OC, and somebody said, "I just don't want my offensive coordinator to be named Fedora." Yeah, Fedora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you get it. You get it. Mm. all right Myers you got the last pick um I must say there is one player on, left on my board that I feel like if we don't pick him we're gonna get scrutinized but it's your pick as well so pick whoever you want can I ask you what position this guy is that you're talking about uh he's a he's a tight end out of uh, Iowa State that gets a lot of touchdowns a lot of <laughs> If I was going to take a tight end, I would take Austin Stogner before Charlie Kohler. Just for I agree, mm. I agree too. Okay, yeah. I think he's I think he's a better uh, tight end. Exactly, exactly. So I'm not even going go in tight end direction. I need a flex, and I'm stuck on two players. Uh, Joshua Moore is a guy that we we kind of forget had nine touchdowns last year. He was very on and off, but a lot of the games he showed up and was really clutch and reliable. And I mean, Sark is going to have to have one receiver be like a star for us. Um, but I see Trevor put in Joshua Moore for my pick. I didn't pick Josh Moore. <laughs> um, Sorry. 
jumping ahead. I'm I'm gonna go <laughs> in a different direction. Uh, sadly, Josh Moore barely missed the cut. I'm gonna go with Eric Gray here. Um, Eric Gray is a home run hitter from Tennessee who just transferred to Oklahoma, and Oklahoma with Lincoln Riley. Um, they've always had two really good running backs. Like it's it's always constant. They put up a lot of numbers both ways. And Kennedy Brooks is probably going to be their bell cow, you know, the starter. But Eric Gray is going to come in a lot and have a lot of production through the air, like maybe bubble bubble screen stuff like that. And I I trust Lincoln Riley to get that guy a lot of touches and a lot of touchdowns and yards and all that good stuff. Um, if if our quarterback situation O line was better, I would have more confidence in a Joshua Moore here. But I think we're going to be, as a team, the Texas is, we're going to be a running team with Bijan, Roshan, and Keelan. We're going to be, uh, that's going to be our identity. So I'm going to go with Eric Cray. I think it's a smarter pick over Josh Moore, but they're both great players. So Eric Gray here, uh, and that'll round out my team. Nice. Well, that closes out the draft then. So we got everyone drafted. Um, just like last time, I'm going to read, read through all of our teams just so we have an idea, and then we'll kind of discuss them. Uh, so Myers' team at QB has got Spencer Rattler, running back L.D. Brown, wide receiver at Marvin Mims, flex is Eric Gray, first defensive player Dante Stills, second one Terrell Bernard, Madrid has Casey Thompson quarterback, Brees Hall running back, Eric Izukama at wide receiver, Sir Roderick Thompson at flex, Perry and Renfrey at defense, and Sean, Deshaun Jameson at defense. Myself, I have t- Tyler Shaw, show whatever it is, Tyler out of Texas Tech, my quarterback. No disrespect. Running, no disrespect <laughs> at all. Not not in the slightest. <laughs> we'll know your name by the end of the season, hopefully, if you play well enough. Um, <laughs> running back, Bijan Robinson, flex, Quentin Johnston. Uh, f- uh, sorry, wide receiver, Quentin, Quentin Johnston, flex, Deuce Vaughn. Defense to Marvion Overshawn. Defense Will McDonald. Uh, Stevens got Brock Purdy quarterback. Kennedy Brooks running back. Xavier Hutchinson wide receiver. Troy O'Meary at flex. Nick Benito at defense and Octon (laughs) Mathis at defense uh, out of TCU. Uh, Trans got Spencer Sanders quarterback. Zach Evans running back. Wide receiver R.J. Sneed. Flex, Jordan Whittington, defense, Mike Rose, and defense, Isaiah Thomas. So what are we thinking about these teams? Who's got the best overall team, best defense, best offense? The West Virginia fans are going to come in here irate because we didn't pick Letty Brown. Brown. I know. I was thinking about that too. And I was was thinking about doing the two backs the way you did Trevor with Bijan and Deuce and and but I I really feel I feel like one of these dudes in this Sark offense as a pass catcher somebody's got to eat I think the days are gone of the musical chairs of wide receivers so I had to and I needed a Texas boy so that's why I had to pass on Letty <laughs> Brown so don't hurt me Mountaineer fans please peace uh, who cares. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the ACC. (laughs) (laughs) If they're lucky. (laughs) Uh, uh, um, Offense? I mean... I think your offense is pretty stacked. I'm not going to lie. If I'm looking looking at the way that the league would be going, if it is points per reception, I mean, Bijan, you're going to get receptions, runs, you're going to get 20, 20 touches a game, 20 to 30 touches a game. Quinn Johnson, uh, he's just a big play re- ready to blow. And then Deuce Vaughn, I think, is going to get like 800 points per game because he's everything for them. <laughs> right. So um, I, I think I think from a offense standpoint, I think your team's pretty strong. Also, uh, Steven's team is pretty strong too. So both of you have um, question marks on one position. Your quarterback and uh, Troy O'Mary. We haven't seen we haven't seen him uh, we haven't seen him do anything yet, but except except uh, practice, you know. I hope I hope he's as good as we we think he is, but he still is a question mark. Nice. I think that Steven did it again. I think he got the best team again because he had the best one in the Texas draft a couple of months ago after a lot of thought. But 
yeah, I mean, Stephen's got a pretty good team. I think the O'Meary pick depends on how he does with his leg. I mean, obviously the potential is there, but I mean, the practice reports coming out or he's wearing this gigantic brace and he's not confident with his leg right now. So hopefully he doesn't linger into the season. He gets, he gets right soon, but yeah, I like Steven's team a lot. Defense is harder to pick. Um, I mean, trans got pretty good defensive players. Mike Rose. One thing I, I overlooked too, was he had five interceptions last, last year too. Yeah. So. I mean, he led the – Very good against the pass. He yeah, was. so – and I think Isaiah Thomas – I wouldn't say he's an upside pick because he was second team all Big 12, but I I, I think he's going to he's gonna show a lot this year. Him and Nick Benito together are going to be really dangerous combination. I feel like – so Madrid's team could get a bump – if Casey, Casey wins, <laughs> Casey wins. Uh, that's a gamble. Wow. That, that's Straight a gamble. huge win. If, if, I mean, if Casey wins, so if Casey, Casey wins, wins. I'm, in the, I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm in talks for number one, man. Straight up, right? Off. Because you get the Sark bump. Mm-hmm. If he doesn't, then you better hit the waiver wire for a hard. Go get Skylar Thompson if, if uh, Casey doesn't work out. Uh, exactly. I I'm telling you, Jared. I thought I thought about drafting Jared Deggy. He's not bad out of West Virginia. He, I mean, he's not great, but he's very serviceable. So I would no have, Doge man for me. No Doge. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, nah. We, I'm, I'm, I'm with y'all, man. I ain't having nobody named Deggy as my. <laughs> stuff. That's just. I, I totally agree, but that's principles, bro. It's principles. That's, all right. Yeah. No disrespect. Yeah, no, no, all of. He's a Texas man. Got to support the, the, the Texas roots, but I hear you. You really don't, though. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose not. Welcome to the part of the show. We just started ripping off. <laughs> just started destroying people. Everybody's getting the smoke. Yeah. Myers, Myers, you have my favorite defensive player, especially assuming he comes off of injury properly. Terrell Bernard. Yeah, I I had him as my my second my second defensive player. Yeah, you're gonna get because to me, like I would have probably voted for him over Mike Rose last year if he if, if he not. didn't get hurt. Yeah, if he yeah didn't he have like 20 tackles against us? He's the he's the one guy that I I from an opposing player standpoint that I was like, that guy is fantastic. Yeah. You're a fan of, I'm just yeah, a fan yeah. of the way he plays football, but he's everywhere. Yep. So. And before, before this, I, you know, I, I, I was thinking that he was still going to go to the NFL, but I guess the in- injury kept him from that. Yeah. Myers gets the benefit. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I got two basically NFL players out of my defense, Dante Stills and Terrell Bernard. I think I have the best defense, but my offense is definitely suspect. Yeah. All right. Well, anything else, guys, or should we wrap this up? Final thoughts? Everyone, everyone, say a nice, uh, a nice long prayer for Sam Ellinger so he can get, he can start week one. Uh, <laughs> I know we touched on it in the beginning, but I was watching it right before this, and I was like, man, he looks so poised. He, like you just you never thought it was in doubt. He's, Even I know it's a piece sca- of he scared me the first drive. Oh, he absolutely. Did look, he did not look sharp the yeah, first drive, and I he know. turned it around. I know. Uh, I had a I had a one of my friends who's a Colt who's a Colts fan text me as soon as he he did the little uh, game winning drive. He was like, "I'm a firm believer now." I was like, "Start buying in now." He doesn't. <laughs> you never you never feel like you never feel like he can't do it. You know what I mean? So yeah, just say a little prayer for him. He's looking great out there. Nice. Good thing to end on. Anyone else? All right. Well, with that, again, please subscribe to both of our channels. Uh, Football season's right around the corner, uh, so be on the lookout for more content from both of the, both of our channels. Uh, exciting stuff happening. Might be the last year of the Big Twelve. We'll see. Uh, so this may be the last time we we ever do this, which kind of sad, but also kind of kind of a good thing. We we're we we're saying that an SEC <laughs> an SEC fantasy fantasy draft would be a lot more exciting. But uh, good players in the Big Twelve for sure, for sure. Um, so with all that said here. Everyone take care. Be on the lookout for more content. And thank Thanks you for all having for us watching. again. Thank of you course. guys for having us. This was a blast. Yeah. Thank Always you guys. Love so much. Always love having y'all. Always love having y'all on the show. So all right. Everyone take care. 
enjoy the season ahead and uh we're days away man at this point count down the days all right yep welcome welcome